Welcome back everyone, today we're going to be tackling another r slash am I the asshole where we're going to be discussing secret families, phone issues, and keeping your medical history secret. So without further ado, without further introduction, let's begin. Would I be the asshole if I kept my future vasectomy a secret? Good evening, Redditors. Today, I have a question for you all. So, I'm gonna get a vasectomy. It's not official yet, as I'm still looking around for a doctor who will do it, but it's going to happen. I am going to have a child-free life and resort to being the cool uncle in the future. That much is settled. But my question comes from the dispensing of information. So, would I be the asshole if I didn't tell my family, and more specifically, my parents? To me, at least, it feels like a deeply personal issue, and very clearly my own problem, if you wish to call it that. And the reason I'm thinking I'm not telling them is because I really don't know how they'll react. Of course, if I ever get a significant other, they will definitely be informed. So, am I being a dick here, or is it something personal enough to keep to myself? Opie is not being a dick in this situation, mostly because he's saying he will tell his significant others. But what about his parents, you may be asking? Well, about that. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, sure, they may have raised him and shit like that, but that doesn't mean that they deserve to know every little thing about his adult life. Sorry to shatter that dream, future parents. Am I the asshole for stopping my kids, nine and six, from going on an RV trip with my mother-in-law and her boyfriend at literally the last minute? The RV was in the driveway and I said, no, this isn't happening. I have been married to my husband for almost 12 years. Very good marriage, but his mom has been a problem since we first met. She is a habitual line stepper, and it has caused me endless frustration and grief. It has gotten so much worse since we've had the kids because she believes it's her God-given right to spoil the kids as much as possible. She moved in with the first guy she met at a country western bar who owns RVs, and they begged us every year to let the kids do a summer trip with them, but I didn't know how well I trusted her boyfriend, and the food situation drove me up a wall. Well, in January, against my better judgment, they talked me into it for two weeks this summer. My husband was excited because he booked us this hotel at this sexy hot tub spa in the mountains outside Santa Fe, which sounded fun, but I was still concerned about my mother-in-law. I gave my mother-in-law a food list of things I wanted them to eat while they were on the road. I wasn't prohibiting treats by any means, but I wanted them to eat a decent protein, something green, at least once a day. I told my mother-in-law that I had trust but verify attitude with her based on past incidences, so before I let them drive away, I wanted to see evidence that she has bought or at least made plans for good food. She's had since January to show me a receipt, a pic on her phone, a cookbook she's going to use, literally anything to show me she's making some effort to comply with what I requested. As of last night, there was nothing. And I told her I was going to bed and that if I didn't see decent food in the RV, the kids aren't going. Well, that's exactly what happened. I asked to see the pantry and fridge, and at first, she said they were in a huge hurry and didn't have time. I told her, no way. I was looking. So she let me in, and I swear to God that all that was in this RV were Sam Club quantities of chips, sour Skittles, and the fridge was filled to the brim with soda and alcohol. There wasn't even lunch meat and bread. I asked her where the good food was as per our agreement. First, she said she hadn't had time. I told her she had since January. Then she got really snooty about me and told, these kids need to have fun once in a while. We'll stop at frickin' McDonald's if that'll get your panties out of your ass. That was it. I told the kids to get the things and the trip was canceled. They cried, my mother-in-law started doing her overly dramatic crying, and trying to make me feel guilty by making the kids cry even more. 
I took the kids inside the house and the RV sat in our driveway for almost two hours while she blew my phone up from everything from promising she'd go to the grocery store to blaming me for wasting their money on wet and wild tickets in Denver. My husband is mad at me because I guess we don't get to have sexy time in the hot tubs. So basically five on one in my family as to whether or not I'm the asshole. To this sub, was I the asshole or not? I'm gonna go with that OP is not the asshole in this situation, mostly because she drew clear lines in the sand of them and the grandmother went, oh, I'm the grandmother, I could do what I want, I am here to spoil the kids. And in the end, because she didn't follow the rule, everyone got burned. If anyone's the asshole in this situation, in my opinion, it's the mother-in-law. Because at the end of the day, having access to the grandkids is not a right. At the end of the day, it's a privilege, even though they are family. Am I the asshole for using my boyfriend's phone? <clears throat> my 34-year-old boyfriend, my 33-year-old self, have been together for ages. We're practically married, and we live together. He happens to have a great phone, and I have some piece of crap that serves as a purpose and I don't feel the need to replace it. Sometimes when we're at home, I don't feel like turning on the computer and I ask him if I may use his phone for watching YouTube, going on Reddit, Instagram, the Googling stuff. And he lets me. Sometimes I don't even ask because he lets me every time and he's right there. He sees it and never reacts. He also has a folder of our pictures, which I go into sometimes. None of the other folders, just the one with our photos together. We recently had friends over and they saw me do this. Nobody said anything then and there, but the next day, two of them sent me a group message and asked me, what the fuck? I said that I'd asked him and he'd let me, so what's the big deal? They said, of course he let you. You shouldn't have asked in the first place. It's an unwritten rule that you don't go through your partner's things. He probably feels pressure to give you his phone because you're a couple. I tried to justify myself, but they just called me an asshole and told me I need to stop right now. I said I doubt there's anything on his phone he'd be worried about me finding, and they said of course there's nothing because he knows you'll be touching it. So I'm confused now. I've never heard of this unwritten rule, and I think that if he didn't want me to use his phone, he'd say so. Also, I don't understand what exactly he's supposed to have on his phone that he might not want me to find. I'm fairly certain he isn't cheating on me, and I see all the dick pics he takes because he sends them to me anyways. Am I being an asshole for using his phone or even asking in the first place? No, OP is not the asshole in this situation. It sounds like the friends need to mind their own fucking business and stay in their own goddamn lane. What I do recommend for anyone in this situation is to go to your significant other and go, hey, your friends hinted at that you might care about me going through your phone. Does it bother you? And let them answer for themselves. Am I the asshole for keeping my marriage and child a secret from my mother, as well as refusing to let her see my son? The secrecy started early. I'm a gay woman. At 15, when I came out, my mom simply disagreed. She told me I wasn't gay. She said I was jealous, that those girls looked better than me, and I was just jealous of them, not attracted to them. She generally thinks it's impossible for me to be gay and never took it seriously. It got to the point where I didn't tell her if I met anyone. Now, let's skip to when I met my wife. When I'd finally let my mom know about her, we had been together for two years, the conversation went like this. I told her, we want to get married. She replied in an extremely disdainful manner, oh, do you? Well, let me tell you something, throw away gay all day. You're going to want a man. Your car breaks down, you're screwed. You need heavy stuff moved, screwed. Two women can't make love. You're going to want a man in bed with you. I hung up on her. I was so fucking mad. I married my wife without telling my parents. I never told my mom we wanted a child. I never told her I was birth. When we visited for Christmas, I went alone. I'm not sure when I planned on telling her or how. I just hadn't gotten around to doing it. Serious procrastination and dread. My wife and I lived a few hours from my parents. They've never visited. They've never visited because they don't know my address. And when we spend time together, I go to them. They do pass through on the way to visit other family though. They had stopped at our Walmart to get a last minute item and that's when they saw us. I was there getting stuff for dinner and had my son in the car seat. We were going down the aisle when I heard, hey kiddo, from behind. I recognized my mom's voice and turned to face her, ready to do introductions. 
But man, the instant she saw my son, she gave him the dirtiest fucking look and said, Whose kid? I'm now pissed, and I replied with, Mine. She said, What do you mean he's yours? I mean, he's mine. He can't be yours. Me. Ever heard of in vitro fertilization? So you went to spend God knows how much money to have a kid with her girlfriend? Wife. Ah, oh, and when were you going to tell me about this? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it in the middle of the story, though. I walked away and checked out. She followed, still talking shit. I put my son in the car and left. My mom called later. I tried to talk to her. I apologized for the secrecy and said she gets condescending when we talk about these things. She denied this. She then went on about how I didn't invite her to the wedding and that she'll never get that moment back and see me get married, which I honestly do feel bad about. She eventually asked when I was going to bring my son over, and I said, never. I said I wasn't going to bring him there when she's so negative towards us. I said she doesn't respect me or my family, so she doesn't deserve to know my family. I hung up on her and haven't answered her calls or text. She has apologized for speaking to me in the way she has, but I don't care at this point. I'm too fucking mad. Am I the asshole for not inviting her to the wedding and not allowing her to see my son? Is never too harsh? Is OP an asshole in either situation? I'm gonna say no. Because if a person is gonna be a condescending little bitch the entire time during their ceremonies and such, fuck them. You're not welcome. Now, what about the son? Is she an asshole for that? No, as we said previously in this episode, just because you're a grandparent doesn't give you an all-access pass to the grandkid. And if you're going to be talking shit and being condescending about the parents in front of the grandkid, fuck you, you don't deserve access. It's a privilege, not a right. But what if she changes? Sometimes the past outweighs any progress you could make in the future. And with that philosophical statement, we're going to conclude today's video. Let me know what you guys think about these situations in the comments down below. I would love to see what you guys have to say with that. On down below is also my socials, my Discord, my Patreon, my Twitter, all those lovely things. So, as always, my friends, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you guys have a wonderful whatever you decide to have. And I hope to see y'all next time.